Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'll be unboxing this SDR Play's RSP1B, a software defined radio receiver released by SDR Play. We will take a closer look at the device itself and demonstrate its capabilities through audio samples captured using MLA30 Plus receiving antenna. Well, this RSP-1B is an enhanced version of the popular RSP-1A offering enhanced noise performance housed in a robust steel case. Well, the RSP-1B comes in a minimalistic package that includes the device itself. For extras like user manual, registering your SDR or grabbing SDR Play's SDR Uno software, just head over to their official website, they have got everything you need. Talking about the specifications, it's a 14-bit SDR which will give you continuous coverage from 1 kHz to 2 GHz. It has got 11 high selectivity built-in front-end filters. The outer shell of this RSP-1B is now made up of steel for better shielding against electromagnetic interference for potentially cleaner reception. It has now got improved noise performance compared to RSP-1A that is in the range of below 1 MHz, 3.5 to 5.5 MHz, 50 to 60 MHz and 250 to 320 MHz. It's worth noting that the RSP-1B doesn't come with this power LED indicator by default. I have actually modded mine to include a retro style LED power indicator, which I think adds a nice touch. However, I wouldn't recommend making these modifications yourself as it will void your warranty. The RSP-1B has a robust build quality with a rugged black painted steel case. On the back, you will find an SMA female port for connecting your antenna which conveniently supports BIOS T. For connecting your RSP-1B to your computer, they have provided a USB type B port which is located on the front side of the unit. And also please do note that the USB cable is not included in the package. Now before we delve into the performance of RSP-1B by connecting it to a computer, let's take a quick look at the key difference between the RSP-1A and 1B in terms of low noise performance. Well, I wasn't able to locate those low frequency beacons near my location because it's likely due to the absence of nearby airport. So I will be utilizing STR Play's official video to illustrate this point. For this comparison, we're using a wire antenna. It's actually a G5RV, uh, some 20 meters high. And then we're splitting it between an RSP1A and an RSP1B. I'm running two instances of SDR Connect. At the top is the RSP1A and below that the RSP1B, running on a Windows 11 desktop PC. And the thing you immediately see is the difference in the noise floor of the two uh, RSPs. The RSP-1A has a noise floor around minus 110 or thereabouts, whereas the RSP-1B is closer to minus 125. And that means you can see a myriad of signals uh, that would otherwise be below the noise level. So if we unmute the RSP-1A, all we hear is noise. If we unmute the RSP-1B, we can clearly hear an NDB signal. Now with the RSP-1B and the MLA30 Plus antenna connected, let's explore the range of fascinating radio stations we can tune into. Also check out the LED power indicator when my RSP-1B is fired up.
خانوادهمون باشن یا زنهایی که در جامعه میشناسیم به واسطه فعالیت های مختلفی که انجام میدن سپاس گذارم از همراهیش Well, if you are new to SDR or on a tight budget, the RSP-1A is still a fantastic option. However, if you value the best possible performance, especially at lower frequencies and in specific bands or require a more solid build quality, the RSP-1B is a compelling upgrade. Well, after a month of use, the RSP-1B has become my preferred STR over the RTL-STR. While the RTL-STR offers impressive value for its price, the RSP-1B delivers superior performance with lower noise levels. A significant advantage of STR Play is the included STR Uno software. Once mastered, STR Uno unlocks the full potential of the RSP-1B, providing more powerful user experience. After using this RSP-1B for 24 hours continuously, I didn't notice any heating issue. Throughout my test, it was running way too cooler compared to my RTL STR. To get most out of your SDR experience, consider investing in a genuine SDR Play device. While there are cheaper imitations available, they may not offer the same level of performance, reliability and support as official products. Considering the price, buying this RSP-1B SDR in India might be expensive. It could cost around 240 US dollars or approximately 20,000 Indian rupees. So here is my suggestion. If you have friends or family members traveling from the UK to India, it might be cheaper to ask them to buy it for you in the UK. Alright guys, that's all for this one. If you have got any RSP-1B questions, hit me up in the comments. Also hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and maybe even subscribe for more awesome content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, take care and bye bye.